Hello everybody, this video is for 14 and older. If you're not 14 and older, turn off now. Everybody else, let's go have some fun and talk about RCs. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different. And I want you guys uh, to take a look with me at this uh, soon to be released Red Cat 8th scale. Uh, I'm calling it a Kaiju Basher Monster Style Truck. Uh, it seems like it's going to be awesome guys. I'm really uh, into Red Cat. I've got a couple of Gen 8s that I love to death. My wife has one and I have one. We play with them every chance we get. Um, I have one of the Blackouts. I really liked it and gave it to my son. Uh, and he's had you know pretty good luck with it other than the ESC problems. But you know after the stock ESC was gone, that's not really a Red Cat problem. Anyways, on to better things. Uh, this monster truck is going to be full drive, brushless. It's going to have waterproof electronics, A scale as I said. It only comes in one color right now, but I expect that will change in the future. It's only blue for now. But look at that price point, guys. Before I go any further, $399. Now, you can't even get a 10th scale max for $550. So, that's uh, a great price point if it's durable whatsoever. And looking at this thing, I believe it's going to be. Here's some of the specs on it. It's, uh, like I said, 8th uh, scale. The transmission is uh, just got forward and reverse. No, I don't believe it has two-speed forward or anything like that, which most electronics or electrics doesn't unless it's a crawler. But the length is in millimeters and all that stuff. So I'm gonna I converted that for you guys. So here I'm gonna read that off for you guys real quick. The length is gonna be almost 21 inches long. It's 20.8. The width is gonna be 16.1 inches wide, which is pretty decent. The height is gonna be 9.6 inches tall. The wheelbase is going to be 12.1 inches and the clearance is going to be 2.3 inches so you guys can rewind them and kind of get your tape measure out and figure out you know uh, if you want to how big this thing's actually going to be but it's going to be generally an average size a scale it's not going to be huge for an a scale or anything like that but it's going to be decent size but on to the electronics in it is what I'm really curious about and I've been reading about. I actually went through the manual that you can download uh, right here and uh, read a few things about it. And it's going to be a hobby wing system, which is awesome. And it's going to be 150 amp uh, brushless ESC in there to begin with. And what the best part about it, I read it so far, I don't know whether it's true or not because I haven't had one in my hands, but I read it, that the ESC does censored and uncensored motors. So, you know, that gives you a wide range of motors to put in this thing and do a lot of stuff with. Um, also, it comes with a 2100 kilovolt motor. So, uh, this is a 6XS vehicle. Uh, I think it will fly, guys. I think it's going to be just as fast and uh, just as nice as pretty much anything out there, especially for the price point. Of course, it doesn't come with any uh, lipos for that price or a charger. Um, they have switched over to Dean's connectors, which I really like. I'm a Dean's connector fan, so I won't have to switch any of my battery packs out or, you know, mess with the truck stock and, and mess with the warranty so I can just straight up run it the way it comes. It requires four AA batteries or a LiPo battery, uh, you know, or something, you know, rechargeable batteries or something to go into the bottom of the, uh, controller. It's going to be just a general Red Cat controller they've been coming out with the last year. I don't think it's going to be anything new for this truck, but... The Red Cat controllers work good, have great range, uh, great response time in my opinion. So I don't think that really needs to be changed. You can upgrade it on your own if you have something better you like. But I think uh, out of the box, that's going to be great for anyone. Um, it looks really beefy. Uh, you know, here's some pictures we'll scroll through. Um, the wheelie bar on the back of it I hear is really beefy. I also hear the chassis is pretty much a bison chassis. And I've talked to a few people and there's not a lot of breakage on chassis on bisons out there. Now, once you start jumping this thing and sending it to the air and sending it to the moon, I don't know if that'll cause any breakage, but time will tell. But there you go, guys. Check out that. That's what it looks like. I can't really tell if there's a censored motor on there. I want to say it is, but I can't see it. But uh, regardless, they say you can run censored on it. It's got a 25 uh, kilogram servo on it. So it's going to have plenty of torque uh, to move the tires around. It comes with LED lights in the front, uh, white, and it comes with two LED in the lights in the back. You can see them wired in there, and they'll be red. It comes with aluminum shocks. Uh, the tires, I think, are awesome tread pattern. Look like they're going to be really grippy. 
Um, I'm really, really digging the truck. Now, there's a, another picture of the chassis in the back. They say the wheelie bar on these is adjustable and very durable. I really like that as well. As you can see, the adjustment's right there in it. It looks like there's four different adjustment locations for it. Um, there's your shocks, adjustable aluminum shocks. Uh, you know, it's just looking like a great vehicle. I mean, looking at the chassis, I hate to say it, but it kind of reminds me of an X-Max chassis with the way the uh, shock towers are going up and stuff to that effect. But uh, everything is supposed to be completely waterproof, uh, 6S capable, which means you can start off with two uh you know 2s batteries or two 3s batteries or i think it'll even do one 6s battery because it'll come with the uh you know uh plug on the end so you can just run one battery because it comes with the y but it is a very very nice looking truck i love how it has the red cat inside the wheels there i look how i love how rugged the front bumper looks i mean it's just a really beefy looking little truck i don't know without one in my hands how bad it, it you know or how beefy it's going to be or how good it's going to be but you know from the looks from the specs from what I'm, I've read and from what I've uh, kind of looked at on the chassis and you know things to that effect I think it's going to be fairly awesome guys I think it's going to be a good basher especially for the money I mean a $400 price point they're killing it so let me know what you guys think. Uh, write down in the comments. You think this is going to be a good truck? You think it's going to be a horrible truck? Uh, do you like Red Cat? Don't you like Red Cat? Um, do you like this review? Do you like my channel? You know, anything. Drop me a line. Let me know and I'll get back with you guys. But uh, I just wanted you guys to check this out this morning with me. It just got released for pre-order this morning. And uh, they are saying that the actual release for purchase will be next week. And they'll be shipping them out. So... If you guys are interested, go get you one today. $3.99. You can't beat it. And uh, I believe uh, OMGRC has uh, even got uh, pre-orders going on over there. So check him out. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. I don't really know what else to say about the truck till I get one in my hands. And I'm hoping to do that fairly soon. Have a good day, guys. Hey, guys. I just wanted to drop a final note on the Kaiju, is what I'm calling it, by Red Cat coming out. Um, I meant the version 2 of the Bison. Uh, I know the version 1 of the Bison had horrible times with the chassis. Version 2, um, they did some more bracing and some more beefing up of the chassis. And from who I've talked to on this, it seems like they're going to uh, be beefing up this chassis even more than that version. So I think it's going to really be an improvement. Don't quote me on that, like I say, um, because I don't have one in my hands yet, although I plan on making that part of the channel before long, if at all possible. I really think it can be. Uh, I'm very interested in uh, getting one of the trucks in my hands and seeing what it's capable of. I uh, love the 6S capability. Um, with the small size and plastic body, I'm hoping it's going to be something capable like a uh, 4S uh, Kraton. Uh, Kraton, excuse me. Um, the 4S Creighton, in my opinion, is the best one out of the Creightons out of the box. It doesn't break. Uh, you know, it has uh, great durability out of the box compared to the others, in my opinion. Just because it has a plastic chassis, it doesn't have the metal frame uh, chassis, excuse me. Um, you know, it, it, it all depends on what you're really looking for. I'm sure there's going to be some parts that's going to come out on this one that's going to be weak. They're going to break. And you're going to need to upgrade to some aftermarket parts that are going to be a little stronger depending on what you're wanting to do with it. Um, me personally, I'm planning on trying to send it to the moon and see what it's made out of. I'm probably going to break a lot of things at the beginning that no one expected. Um, that's just part of the hobby once you start trying to bash them and have fun with them the way that I do and other people do. Uh, also, on a side note, uh, if you've been with my channel for a while, You'll notice in the background somewhere, if you pay attention, there is a uh, little clue to what's coming for the channel that I said was big and custom. So uh, if you pay attention, you might be able to find it. Anyways, on to that. Uh, I am an upcoming channel. I don't have many subscribers, and I really appreciate anybody that watches this video and subscribes. Uh, I really need the support at this point, and uh, really appreciate it look forward to any comments you can make and uh i do respond and would love to carry on conversations about the hobby i'm a big hobby enthusiast that's why i do this um it's just for the passion for the fun for me i've been doing this 
for so long. Uh, I, I really can't get it out of my blood at this point. I've been doing it since I was 14 years old and uh, seen them before that and loved them. But I've actually been building them in, into the hobby since I was 14 and I'm 44 now. So that's 30 years. You know, I haven't done it solid through that 40 years, but you can guarantee all but maybe five of those years, I've had a radio control car or plane or a helicopter of some sort in my life. Uh, I'm always intrigued by this stuff. I love building them. I love working on them. I'm kind of a handyman at heart. Uh, you see a couple of my videos, uh, you know, have uh, some of my handyman work in them. But long story short, uh, I just need the support and appreciate the support and uh, appreciate anybody that subscribes and turns on the notifications. And uh, look forward to getting this kaiju and just bashing the crap out of it for you guys. So if that's something you're interested in and want to see, uh, let me know and subscribe. Uh, let me know what I can do with it when I get it. Uh, you know, what would you guys like to see? I know some speed runs. I know some bashing. But do you want to see skate park bashing? Do you want to see, uh, you know, just through the you know, fields bashing, jumping through hills? Uh, you know, exactly what do you guys want to see? Uh, do you want to, you want to see it try to crawl through some woods? I don't know what to do with it other than just, you know, have fun. That's what it's about to me is smiling and having the best time I can have, you know, with what I got. And uh, not everybody can afford the $1,000 toys, but, you know, if you save a little bit and you work a little harder than normal and, and do things right, you should be able to afford something around the $300 to $400 range. Um, and me, myself, I, I've got what I've gotten by, you know, working hard, you know, uh, trying to treat everybody right and go from there you know do what you say and say what you do and everything else will work out it's kind of the motto of life but if uh i can answer any questions or do anything else when it comes to this truck feel free to let me know i am really going to try to get one on release date if not pre-ordered and have it uh you know shipped to my house by release date uh, i look forward to making some videos with it and showing you guys what it's all about and that's what I'm going to do is uh, I really want to see how uh, good this new red cat is because I'm a big fan of the Gen 8s as anybody knows that watches my channel and I believe in them um, and it's not because I'm associated with red cat whatsoever I just think it's a good product and I've had a couple of red cats that were good products I still own a blackout I gave to my son it's uh, you know down in that corner over there if you can see it uh, I got an arm of Sinton. I mean I try out quite a few uh, RC cars you know I've had an Axel Yeti XL things to that effect so you know my opinion is what it is my opinion i've tested quite a few been around you know for quite a few years seen a lot of things come and go so you take it for what it's worth uh i'm just trying to offer you an opinion in case you, you don't have much knowledge or just interested in it i appreciate once again everybody saying hello to me and uh, stopping by and uh thank you guys for the support